Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna do another Earth Day design. This is another quick and simple one to do. This one says, don't frack up our planet. Um, again, just a real easy, simple design. If you'd like to learn how to do this, please do stick around. So as always, we're gonna start with our blank backdrop. This is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. We're gonna be doing another Earth Day design. Um, and so another really simple one. I am gonna be optimizing for black. So I'm gonna start by just selecting my blank canvas, going over to the left-hand corner where it says background color, and we will go ahead and start with black. So uh, for this design, I'm gonna be doing um, more of a circular earth style design with some text. So it should be pretty simple and easy to do. So we're gonna start by going ahead and selecting our earth. Oops. So to do that, I'm gonna go over to where it says elements on the left hand side. I will click that and we will do a little search for earth here. And so real easy, I'm just gonna go ahead, put earth. I am going to be doing graphics, and so you can definitely see all the fun Earth graphics that you could use. A lot of them are great for Earth Day, obviously, or any environmental type shirts that you want to do. There is a particular one that I want to use, and that's actually this one right here. And so what I like about this one is it just sort of gives that idea of Earth but without, you know, obviously without any colors and I can change the color of the planet there. And so I think that that looks pretty cool and I kind of like the way that one looks. So this is the one that I'm gonna go with, but you could do this style of design obviously with any of these that you want. So lots of fun earth designs that you could make. But let's go ahead and start with this one. Next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make it more of a grunge design. I'm gonna put a little grunge circle around it. So I'm gonna put grunge circle and see what comes up. And so I got all these cool grunge circle frames. And so this is kind of what I'm looking at here, something like that. And just so I can see it, I'll make it the same color here. And so I'm gonna go ahead, get this circle so that it kind of lines up more or less with the earth. So again, sort of play with your sizing here. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. So something like that, and it's gonna give it a little bit more of that sort of just grungy look. And of course you can pick any of these that you want, lots of different ways to go. But let's just start with this one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick a color too. So I don't necessarily like this gray color. Let's go ahead. I do want it to be sort of a greenish color for Earth Day. Um, so maybe not that bright, maybe a little bit. I want it to be light because I want it to stand out maybe something more like that. And so that is pretty cool there. Um, now, uh, by the way, if you didn't see one of my earlier videos, I talked about some of the changes that Canva has made. It used to be that if I wanted to send this to the back, I would have to right click and there would be something that said send to back. It no longer does that. So now if you want to send to back, you click, go to where it says position, and then you can click backwards there. And so now that'll send it to back. So now I can select the next layer and change that color again to the same green. Now, once I have these the way that I like it, it might be easier to just group this together so I don't lose any of that. So to group it together, I click anywhere outside of these images. I'm going to drag in over them. Now, it used to also be that when I did this, there was something up here that I could use to group. Now it pulls up a new tab down here and I can click group down here and it will group it together that way. So there's been a few changes um, that Canva has made literally in the last week or two. Um, so if you haven't figured them out yet, don't worry, but they're, they're there. And so now I have my earth. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some text. I'm gonna put some text around it here. And so for this design, I'm gonna go ahead and click T on my T board to get a nice text box here. Just make sure I can see it good. And then for this design, this is gonna be an anti-fracking design. So this is more of a, you know, nature design that works great for Earth Day. So it'll be good for any of the people in the anti-fracking movement. If you haven't heard of that, go ahead and do a little Google search on anti-fracking organizations. Um, and there's a lot of fun ways that you can use the word frack. I'm sure you will figure them out. So this one says, don't frack up our planet. Um, <laughs> 
By the way, I'm only doing this on adult shirts. Not that that is a bad word, but it is too close to too close for comfort to put on a kid's design. So I am just gonna go ahead and do this on adult shirts, but I'm gonna put don't frack up our planet. And so the top line is gonna say don't frack up. Oops. And then the bottom line, I'm gonna put our planet. And so I'll pull up another text box, put our planet. Oops, did I get that? Yep. And so our planet is going to be at the bottom. Don't frack up. I'm going to have at the top there. I do think I'm going to want these in cap, uh, cap lock. So if you didn't do it all in caps, don't worry. If you click on it, there's a little A, big A, makes everything uppercase. And I can do it down here to make everything uppercase or lowercase. That's an easy way to change stuff. Um, and so from here, I'm gonna go ahead, pick a font. Because I was going for more of a grungy look, I do wanna get a little bit of a grungy font. So I'm gonna go ahead and select fonts here. Now I can go ahead and do a search for grunge. And there's a lot of different fun grunge ones I can do. Greneth grunge is an easy one there that I like. Um, lots of different ones, scary stories. I haven't even seen that, but you can play with these and see if you can come up with ones that you like. There is one that I had already picked out for this one that I liked. I just gotta scroll down to find it. But again, you can play, play a lot with all of your different fonts. Awesome Rust, that's another one that I like to use. Grimp Rust, that's another one that I like to use sometimes. Um, so just, you'll definitely discover your favorites. The one I did want to use for this is Komodo Stamp. So I liked that one for this particular design. And if I click change all at the bottom, it'll change the font on the bottom too. So I've got it there. Um, I do also want to change the color of the font to match. So I want both of these to match that planet right there. So it's gonna look like that. And then from here, what we're gonna do is gonna make it nice and big. And I'm gonna wrap it around the planet. <laughs> so I'm gonna make it nice and big and wrap it around the planet. Um, I do want the fonts to be more or less the same size because I don't want like really big fonts in one spot and really small on another. So for example, this is 345. I really want this one to be pretty close to 345 too then. And so I can bring that down, it's 346 here. So now they're about the same size. Obviously this one's gonna be longer, this one's gonna be shorter. One way to get around that would be to just slightly change the spacing between the letters. So, so for example, this one, I can come up here and click uh, where it says spacing. And if I do that, I can take the letter spacing and I can move them just a little bit closer together. And then I can do the same thing here go up to spacing, but I can take the letter spacing and maybe move them just a little bit farther apart. So nothing big, but that's gonna make them a little bit closer to the same size. They're not gonna be entirely the same size, but that's gonna make it look a little bit closer. Now from here, we're gonna use some text effects to curve this. So I'm gonna come up to where it says effects. I'm gonna go down to where it says shape and you'll see curve. And then here you can select how much it curves and in what direction. So if I bring this down, it's gonna open up that curve. And so I can open and close the curve as I like. And it may take playing with it a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of roughly start here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this bottom one. I'm gonna click the curve. And it's gonna be curving obviously the other direction. Oops. So I'm gonna bring that up. And I'm gonna tighten this curve up. And so what you want is for it to kind of make kind of a circle there. And you can decide how close or how far apart you want these, how much space I want between the planet. Obviously, if I bring it closer, I need to tighten the curve. If I bring it up, I can keep it pretty loose. I like that spacing. It's pretty centered now. Um, and so that looks pretty good. And again, with the bottom one, same idea. I can bring it up, but then it's not really a full circle. I can bring it down. And so what I'm seeing is I have to bring it all the way down here for it to line up with the top text evenly. If I bring it here, it is not lined up as well with the top text. I might need to adjust the curve to tighten up that curve a little bit so I can go back up to effects. And I can just take it maybe a little bit more curved there. 
And so this one's at a 59 curve. This one I have at a 60 curve. I could, you know, drop it down to 59. So they're exactly the same. Oops. There's 59 is exactly the same. Um, and so that's kind of how that looks. I'm going to bring this up just a little bit. So I could go with that. I could also go ahead and, and, you know, at this point, play with the size of the font too, which again, every time I change the size, I have to change the curve just to make sure it looks good, but that's easy stuff to play with. So if I wanted to go ahead and make this font a little bit bigger now, I could. Um, so let's say, yeah, I think for one, I can make these letters a little bit closer together still. So maybe drop that to a 50. And so now that is a little bit closer. I can still take these, maybe space them out a little bit more. And so now that is a lot closer. I can also take this and maybe make it a little bit bigger in size. So maybe we go with 390. I'm gonna to have to change that curve again, but you can see if I make it a 390 and then I make this one here also, oops, also around 390. It's 389, close enough. And then now I can close down that curve a little bit more, but I do like it with a little bit bigger um, lettering. And so back to effects, you know, tighten up my curve just a little bit more. So that looks pretty good. So it's at a 63. Yeah, it's a little tight. Keep it at a 63. Let's see this one. This one's going to be the negative 63 or so. That's a negative 64. Let's bring that down to a 63. It's tough to do. I can always type it in, by the way. So if it's like really bugging me, I can just come down here and type in uh, negative 63 and do it that way. There we go. Perfect, and so I am liking the way that that looks, but you can see how you might have to play with it a little bit just to get it lined up right. You do want it to be lined up right because the last thing you want is for somebody to buy the shirt and then return it because, ugh, it's not centered or, you know, there's too much space here, not enough space there, or it just doesn't look right. So, so far, so good. Liking the way that that looks. Now, I'm not super fond of the gaps here. I feel like if I'm gonna put a circle around here, I want it to be a nice full circle. And so one way to get around that would be to sometimes put like some grunge lines here. And so different ways I could do would be to go with another grunge circle. And so I could find one that's maybe a little wider. So this one, if you can see it, that's nice. I can take this one. It still has that nice grunge look to it. I'm gonna pull it out, line it up with my text, something like this. So what you wanna do is try to center it over your, um, your earth so it lines up, oops. And sometimes I can use the little arrow keys on my keyboard to move things up or down a little bit to make them work a little bit closer. But let's say that that's good enough. Now what I want to do is just go ahead and crop this circle so that it's not over the lettering. So to do that, I can double click. It's going to make it look like this. And from here, I can take this corner. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to pull directly down. So not, oh, I don't want to size it. That's not what I meant to do. I want to take it and pull directly down. So I'm not resizing it. I am just cutting, literally cutting off the top. And then I can do the same thing here and pull straight. Oh, don't want to resize it. <laughs> it's, it's a little tough because if I go diagonally in, it's going to resize. I just want to pull up and down. Boom. That is how I can sort of just crop it so I can get sort of these lines here. And so that's just one way to kind of fill that space if you're ever working with a circular design. And so I think that that looks pretty good. So it just says, don't frack up our planet. It's pretty simple. I like the way it all looks. From here, if I wanted to put some text down here, I could. If I wanted to put Earth Day 2023, I could. So, or if I wanted to obviously put the invest in our planet. Um, Lots of different ways you can go, but this is just how you can make a really simple Earth Day design. I'm going to go ahead and group this together now so I can move the whole thing because I want the whole thing up a little bit higher. 
And so if I click anywhere outside of all of these boxes, I'm going to left click, drag over the whole thing. And now I'm gonna click group. So a little box will come up, I can click group. Now I can group it all as one and I can move it up and I can resize it and I can do whatever I want with it from there as one image. So I like that, don't frack up our planet, cool Earth Day style design. I'm just gonna go ahead, retitle this. Don't frack up our planet. There you go. You can come up with some you know, creative ways to use frack, just make sure it's not trademarked. And then um, we're gonna go ahead, click share, and go to download, transparent background and download and it is ready to go. If you have any questions about Earth Day, print on demand, um, this particular style or how to do any of these techniques, go ahead, drop it in the comment section below. I do try to get back to it as quickly as I can. Again, I hope you guys are doing really well. And you know, I hope you guys are already working a lot on some of those quarter two style designs such as Earth Day designs. Um, and I hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time 